So Seda Auctions is pleased to announce its forthcoming sale of important Philippine art on Saturday, the 11th of March, 2 p.m. at 3 Salcedo Place. Preview starts on Friday, the 3rd of March. This sale, which is considered to be the barometer of the Philippine art market, has produced world record prices through a tightly curated selection of works by old master, modern, and contemporary visual artists. A highlight of this auction is the largest selection of works by national artist Ang Kyukok to ever go under the sale block, ranging from a 1960s tempera in the neorealist transparent cubist style, a museum-quality crucifixion from the 1970s, a gift of the artist to a U.S.-based Filipino diplomat on a visit Ang made to New York, a highly gestural dog from the 1980s, two fishermen, dated 1996, a large oil and canvas masterpiece of figurative expressionism, which depicts a Davao tuna, reputedly the artist's favorite, being held aloft in a show of bounty and strength as the day's big catch. Works from the late 19th to the early 20th centuries are also making a strong appearance in this sale, with a fine work by Felix Resurrección Hidalgo from the collection of the estate of the Spanish art professor Alejo Vera, romantic landscapes by Gaston O'Farrell, Juan Arellano, and Vicente Rivera y Mir, an outstanding oil and panel from 1926, Pasay Beach, Manila, by Fabian de la Rosa, a very rare circa 1928-1938 Pablo Amor Solo acquired by descent from the Salvador Lagdameo collection, three major works by national artist Fernando Amor Solo, two bucolic landscapes from the 1940s and 1950s, and a stunning depiction of the Pangasinense folk heroine Princess Urduha are important focal points of the collection. The highlight of the important Philippine art sale is a very rare 1997 oil and canvas by Anita Magsaysay Ho entitled The Many Colors of San Francisco. An artist who celebrated the serenely elegant beauty of the Filipino woman, Anita Magsaysay Ho was an influential proponent of the modernist movement in the Philippines being the only female member of the famed 13 Moderns. Working in the male-dominated art world of the early to mid-20th century, Magsaysay Ho's female-centric voice allowed her to develop a distinctive style that often focused on a group of women working in various states of unison, their far-off gazes depicting both innocence and contentment. In the many colors of San Francisco, Magsaysay Ho paints two earnest maidens gazing beyond a reef-like gathering of the San Francisco plant, a favorite of the artists. Peering beyond an array of multicolored leaves, one woman turns to the other as if to share a whisper of a secret, forever unbeknownst to the viewers. An enigma of Philippine modern art the Many Colors of San Francisco is an emblem of the enduring allure of Anita Magsaysay Ho's famous women. A 1976 Vicente Manansala mother and child epitomizes the virtuoso of the national artist. The complexity of the work lies in the tranquility evoked by the young mother cradling her sleeping child juxtaposed against a multiplicity of translucent cubist shapes. An exhibition piece that has been shown in two important Manansala retrospectives at the Metropolitan Museum of Manila and the Ayala Museum makes this piece an extremely rare oil and canvas to come to auction. The vanguard post-war modernists are well represented at Salcedo with pieces by national artist Victorio Edades, Romeo Tabuena, national artist Cesar Legaspi, 
and fine examples of Philippine abstraction both geometric, as in the case of an iconic sculpture by national artist Arturo Luz, and color field, as exemplified by an early linear series Lee Aguinaldo, and two impressive non-objective canvases by Fernando Thobel, one showing Madrid's Retiro Park in winter, the other uniquely inscribed with a poem in English. In a 1968 diptych by Jose Hoya, two concentric symbol-laden orbs bear deeply carved shaped grooves and a heavy application of impasto, hallmarks that the national artist is best known for. A career hallmark Zen series work from the 1980s by Lao Lian Ben is also an auction standout. Several important pieces by national artist Ben Cab are also coming to market, such as two very rare 1970s works in mint condition from the collection of an important English gentleman, a 1981 Larawan series mixed media painting, and a 1968 mixed media work from his scavenger series. Also highly covetable is an astonishing figurative work showing a lady with a floral headdress by Vinal Sanso. Rounding out the lots on offer are contemporary pieces by Elmer Borlongan, who is represented by a much sought after large canvas work entitled Hang Loose, and Rodel Tapaya through a tondo or round painting that has a rich exhibition and publication history. Tapaya is the subject of a landmark exhibition being mounted this year at the National Gallery of Australia, the first Filipino to be given such an honor. A gathering of Filipino masters from every period in our visual art history, Salcedo Auctions is honored to present important Philippine art for the most discerning of collectors. Follow Salcedo Auctions on Instagram and Facebook. The online catalog is available at salcedoauctions.com.